Hello, my name is Frank Bradshaw, and I am the Rotary Foundation Committee Chair for District 6200. I want to welcome you to the district's online grant management seminar. This is module number one, the first of three in the program. The district is continuing to improve its service to the membership by providing this online format to make it easier for club members to achieve the necessary grant management seminar participation. This is how the seminar will proceed. First, you will watch a video as you are doing here. There are three videos in all. After you watch a video, take the review quiz. You will need to use SurveyMonkey to take the quiz and you will find the link to SurveyMonkey on the district's website. After you've completed all three quizzes, email me at the address shown on the screen. Give me your name, the name of your club, and the club position you will hold in the coming Rotary year. This way, I will be able to give you and your club the proper credit for this training. There are several websites you will find helpful. Just as you found the grants training information on our district website, many of the other tools you will need to complete grants are located there as well. Many of these tools are also located at www.rotary.org. Also remember, we will be using the grants module found on DAC-DB. Now let's take a quick overview of what the Rotary Foundation is and its mission. At the 1917 Rotary International Convention, outgoing RI President Arch Klump proposed to set up an endowment for the purpose of doing good in the world. In 1928, it was renamed the Rotary Foundation and it has become a distinct entity within Rotary International. It is supported solely by the voluntary contributions from Rotarians like yourself and friends of the Foundation who share its vision for a better world. I want to focus on the first three words, to enable Rotarians. It is through Rotarians such as yourself that the Rotary Foundation is able to achieve its mission of advancing world understanding, goodwill, and peace. Now let's look at the grants offered by Rotary. The Rotary Foundation offers grants that support a wide variety of projects, scholarships, and training that Rotarians are doing around the world. There are two types of grants available, district grants and global grants. Rotarians in District 6200 have used district grants to fund both local and international projects. Unlike global grants, district grants may be used for construction projects or youth services such as Interact and RILA. District grants may also be used for high school programs, including the awarding of scholarships. The concept behind district grants is to allow clubs the flexibility to fund smaller projects. Just remember that the district grant funds can only be used for Rotary projects, and those projects must be consistent with the mission of Rotary International. Through Global Grants, Rotarians in different countries work together to address local community needs. These projects must be longer term, have sustainable outcomes, have a minimum value of $30,000 US, involve international partnerships, and must support one or more of Rotary's main areas of focus. Global grants are eligible for matching funds from the Rotary Foundation through the World Fund. Through Global Grants, District 6200 has sponsored five postgraduate scholars over the past four years who have or will be advancing their studies at universities in Europe and Africa while they work on projects addressing local community needs. Through a Rotary Global Grant, Rotarians in Belize and District 6200 work together to support two vocational training teams of healthcare professionals who travel to both South Louisiana and Belize in order to learn about best practices and exchange ideas. 
Rotary has identified specific causes to target in order to maximize our local and global impact. Through global grants, we help clubs focus their service efforts in the following areas. Peace and conflict prevention resolution, disease prevention and treatment, water and sanitation, maternal and child health, basic education and literacy, economic and community development. Let's spend a few minutes talking about District Designated Funds, or DDF. When you contribute to the annual fund, 50% of your gift comes directly back to the district. Say you make a gift of $500 to the annual fund. For three years, your contribution is invested. During that time, the investment earnings have been historically used to pay for the administrative and operating expenses of the Rotary Foundation. At the end of the three years, the principal is made available for the funding of Rotary projects. 50% of the contribution, or $250, comes back to the district through District Designated Funds, or DDF. This is money the district uses to help fund your club's local and international projects. The other 50%, or $250, goes to the World Fund, which is controlled by the trustees of the Rotary Foundation and is used to fund foundation grants and programs at the trustees' discretion. The World Fund is the source of the Rotary International match for your global grants. The fund your club will have access to next Rotary year are the result of contributions made four years ago. This is why it is so important to maintain consistent support of the Rotary Foundation in your club. In the coming Rotary year, the district will have $71,846.50 to be used by clubs for district grants and another $71,846.50 that can be used for projects that qualify for global grant funding. Now let's briefly talk about becoming qualified to receive Rotary Foundation funds. Districts must become qualified in order to receive grant funding from the Rotary Foundation. The online qualification process helps to ensure that your district understands the financial responsibilities, including stewardship, and is prepared to take them on. The districts must complete this process each year. Becoming qualified is simple. The district agrees to the district's memorandum of understanding and agrees to conduct grant management seminars for all of its clubs. Clubs that want to apply for a district or global grant must also be qualified. Districts are responsible for qualifying their clubs each year. To become qualified for this grant cycle, your club must agree to implement the club memorandum of understanding have at least two club members, preferably one should be the 2020-21 club president, participate in a grant management seminar, and enter the club's Rotary Foundation giving goals into Rotary Club Central. Appoint a club foundation committee chair and advise RI and the district office of the name and contact information. Be current as to Rotary International and District 6200 dues, and all previous district grant projects undertaken by the club have been successfully closed out. There are a number of resources at your disposal which you can access to learn more. Here are a few, including websites for Rotary International, District 6200, and DACDB. You have now completed module number one. You can either take the review quiz for module number one or proceed to module number two. Thank you.